So, to those on YouTube, I'm sorry I uh, did the voice two duels. I didn't mean to. Without recording. But you'll, you'll watch the rest of this. What do you need to do? Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Sato Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've had to decide to investigate your dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. This dark dimension wherein is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned, and the possible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi boy, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented these games. What if I told you I didn't? Are you blushing? Oh? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called the Shadow Games. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful, the Egyptians lost control of them, nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And are also quite, <laughs> quite dangerous. Yugi boy, you really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant and yet helpless, is so ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, the power of my puzzle? 5,000 years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of shadow games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that the puzzle's one of them? Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. I have taken the measures of your talents this day, Yugi Moto. And when next we duel, we should play for far, far higher stakes. I am done with your games. You presume I give me a choice in the matter, but I'm not. For I also possess from the seven millennium items, the all powerful Millennium Eye. A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of his magic. I have found that given a proper incentive, anyone can be played to me my games. Thank you for the follow, Sinister Jones. Yugi! Gram Grandpa! We will duel again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yeah, yeah, okay. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. I can't do it. It's time you answered for destroying my Zodiac cards, Weevil. We're just gonna skip over that part. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Maximilian, you son of a bitch. Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good as dueling as you are running away. Is I simply running away or coming weaving you to my web? Thank you, Gassy Yuki, for the follow. It's time to duel! Uh, of course, we need a story deck. Oh! <sighs> takes a lot out of you. Uh, paper. Yeah! I'll let you have the first turn, Weevil. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> My childhood in a box. That's no, I tried to hook in a box. Alright, she's on. I'm gonna let you know now, I don't really know much crap about you. Oh, my childhood. <laughs> I was gonna ask you about your childhood if uh, you said you tried hook. Those are things I, I'm very curious about. Uh, he's gonna do that to Moth thing, isn't he? So. I will play one card face down, Weevil. And I'll end my turn. Ugh! My sand getting! How could you, Weevil? Uh, my, well... Done that child hook can be around of that candy. <laughs> oh no no. That's horrible. 
<laughs> but why are you so why are you so exhaust? I play one card face down in defense position. And I end my turn, Weevil. It's time to expose the mediocre character. Fool! You attacked him while in defense position! I draw my card. Now, I sacrifice. What is his name? Giant Soldier of Stone! <laughs> the summon. The summon skull! In attack position! Uh, uh, let me change the battle phase! There we go! And I attack. I went short taking switch now. Ooh. Your Hercules Beetle! This fight's me empty. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I end my turn. Well, I'd give him the Underwood. Oh my! <laughs> I don't want to know what's Meebo's Underwood, okay? That, that's some FBI thing going on. The best Meebo fan club should do it. I mean, they have a fan club, at least until Yugi and Joey came along and then everyone else beat them. Um, wow, my hand sucks. I summoned Ring Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, in attack position. I, I don't know why, but he, he'll be in attack position, damn it. I attack your face down. No! Or someone's skull, Weevil. Boy, that's not a swale that I can assault you with. I mean, that's exactly evil, I knew it. God damn it. Lord makes you want to want to my class of cards. You can just get this game, it's on Steam and Switch. MPS4 and Xbox. It's only like 20 bucks, I think. It's like either 20 or 40 bucks, I don't remember. It would attack face down from evil. Yeah, I, I realize that. I realize that. I play the Wasteland! It, uh, I, I. I don't know what now. I'm actually a little fucked. I'll play it face down. Now end my turn. It's forty dollars. Okay, it's always a trick. Still, though, I mean, I had a flip deck mentality to be a dick. Oh, you dick! Ah! There's not much I can do. It's beast. Does it help a beast? It's not help a beast. Shit. Yeah, he won. He won this time. I surrender. You're the better duelist, people. Go, save my grandpa. But we'll try again. Hey, 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 man, you but Oh, you're that dick. Sorry, deck. Also, the Akamoto and Neo Akamoto. I remember those ones. Beetle, how do you say it? Walk beat scissors, Weevil. Did I give you Shadow Ghastly? Yep, I did. Okay. Also, Labyrinth Wall. Oh, thank you. I just want to. No, you gotta thank me. I love shouting on people. Shouting on people, because I love giving people the support they need. I play one card face down in defense position. I was distracted by the Yu-Gi-Oh. No, don't worry about it. No! My mammoth Yeah, I know we need a conversation. Because I know he has it. No! My mammoth graveyard. Wow. Great hand. The best I can play is Karibo. I play the Wasteland. 
And I end my phase. That hand though, I can't play anything. <laughs> Doing a guy to die camping out? I know, but I can't play anything. I activate Kuibo! I'm now safe from damage this turn. No, no, only that one attack. I think I was winning Kuibo. <sighs> what? I activate Monster Reborn. I revive Mimith Graveyard. And then I shall sacrifice Mammoth Graveyard. The summon, the summon skull. You, your bugs may have a powerful exoskeleton, but they're not as strong as a living skeleton, Weevil. That destroy his big insect. It seems like size does matter. Ah, my voice! It's killing me! Like I said, are people enjoying the voices? Should, should, should I stop? The more this goes on, the more you sound like Yugi is the best. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, let's wait till I get to Pegasus. <laughs> I destroy your killer needle, and I end my turn. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this card. I really hope it's not a man eater bug. Oh, you yeah, have to see that. I play polymerization, and I fuse. Oh, I. I select my fusion card, but then I fuse my cursed dragon and Gaia, the fierce knight. They play Gaia, the dragon champion. An attack boot. Wait, what? What? what are, wait, why can I play appeal? What was that? Why can I play cards appeal? Why should I force you to raids when I can right now, Yugi boy? I am unrivaled. Happy. This is CBD, my Pegasus voice. I hope it's not a man eater bug. Yes. <laughs> Please not be a man eater bug. Okay. Well, now it's a man eater bug, but you can't flip it, so it's okay. I end my turn, Revo. Only 70 points to go. The fuck is he doing? <laughs> What's something weird? I don't. Oh no. Saws, don't. I summon Griffor. Now go! Destroy his man eater bug! And summon school! Attack his face down! And now Gaia, the dragon champion, attacks slight points to Michael. Oh, he's not dead yet. I thought he was dead, but it's okay, we'll, we'll get him next turn. I don't know where my webcam went. I'm not gonna use it, but so, you know, modifying the melt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I summon the Ring Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. My voice, it hurts. I will not run away. Yeah, lack of chat points. <laughs> oh no. Now Griffor, attack his face down. It, it, that's a bad idea. I made a mistake, Revil. Attack your face down again. And you summon another monster. This is getting annoying, Revil. 
I'll attack this card. Uh, to attack you directly. He's taking a hand with his mouth. Oh no. Oh, oh you meant him. I, I thought you meant like. Okay, never mind. He was a bastard. It's time to end this evil. I attack with summon skull. Good thing I did. And now I attack this Gaia, the dragon champion. Finish him. It's over. I've won. No! Oh, my voice! No! Impossible! My mouth is unbeatable! And you give it the win! Ah, uh, voice probably going to do the before stools. Okay. I'd better be the champion for Serenity's sake! She's always counted on me, even when we were kids. And beatable. I'm going to win this tournament in the prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery. I promise. A voice that annoying could only belong to my... Hey, Yugi. Are your duels doing well? I can't do a... I can't do the... Uh, what's his name? Little Queen of my voice. I might be up for a duel myself, so get ready, because I ch choose you to a challenge. Wait, what? Because I choose to challenge you- Okay. You, Joey. What? You challenge me? You have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. Baby dragon. We're gonna get that baby dragon out. I used to love that card. <laughs> I think we. Next to Red Eyes. Red Eyes is great though. Like, there's a reason why there's only Red Eyes. Why Red Eyes stacks. Red Eyes is Daniel. I play my map. A spell card. Gaia Power. Here's some V1. Fusion Monster X deck and add a bunch. And next, I activate Fusion Conscription! Aha, uh -huh, he's the Metaphors. But I suck this dragon is the cool Daniel- What? <laughs> My time wizard! Time wizard! Now I summon my Axe Like all those baby dragons. <laughs> It's your turn, ma. I can't. Ma I'm slowly losing the losing it. I can't. I believe this crap stat card. I'm just waiting for that baby dragon. Go, Masaki. I feel bad saying that, being part Japanese. Masaki, attack his face down card. The Axe Raider! Tackle life points directly! What axe am I doing? Okay, that took a while. Why because the general weak stat wise? Well, they're about to fuck me up, so. Fit my trap card! Bottomless trap hole! Take a bad to your heartbeats! You got this! Thank you! I appreciate I appreciate the support! Let's destroy your heartbeats. Destroy the heartbeat. I, I gotta rest my voice for a little bit.
Did she stop playing face down cards? C cool! I'm, I'm glad I got all these palmizations. Can I get a monster card, please? S to the fake down. I mean, she's an NPC, so I don't know if she's gonna. She's an NPC, I don't know if I'm confused or not. Yee! Yee! I play my polymerization, so now I can fuse my Tombas and my baby dragon to make Thousand Dragon. Uh, uh, let me slap them. Oh, sorry. I just gotta check something real quick. Okay. Attack mode. What is this thing up here? Why can I set them up here? I'm confused. This is my battle phase. Activate attack. I'm also confused. I mean, Nani. Why did Joey have like a Brooklyn accent in the anime? Japan is nowhere close to Brooklyn. Part of the cards guy. How do the cards guide me? Oh. I mean, bye. Oh, uh, I was saying, that way. My axe raider, attack it. What, what, what this thing is? A thousand dragon, attack it directly. It's the Brooklyn man. A dominant city in the USA of Japan. It's going for the kill. <laughs> How are you doing, Gio? Let me give you a shout out. How could I ever use such an amateur? Ma, I try to tell you- What? I can't. The accent is killing me. I can't even do it by accent. Ma, I try to tell you there's more to dual monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. If you ever can be a real champion, you gotta go to care about someone other than yourself. Sorry. Oh, let's make a tsunami. Okay. That's better for you. That's awfully nice, but I don't stream. Thank you. Well, I just want to give people some shout outs, you know, help them out. But still, I know. I, I would do what you expect. Out of Dylan made me hungry. Do you guys remember bringing food with you? Jo Joey boy. Joey boy. Sorry, Joey. What were you thinking coming here with no food? How are you gonna ever going to eat through the rest of competition without anything to eat? That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes it out of you, and I haven't seen any bogus stands or best ones since we got you. What a clairvoyance. I smell something cooking that away. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I just love barbecue fish. It smells good. And I bet it tastes even better. What makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Hey, trust me, we eat for those questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. I get to contribute too! Ah oh man, this looks awesome! That's, that's all I get to say. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves! But this is your last meal- I don't remember how he said this. Uh, oh shit. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom feeding thieves? Yo, Simon Hortz. He is, but you kind of root for him in the anime a lot. Like, I feel like I root for Joey more in the anime than Yugi. Hey, chill out, guy! It's just a few fish. A few fish that don't belong to you, and steal and to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a sec, are you Mako Tsunami, a top rank ocean duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugi Moto, sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Moto, the only duelist to ever defeat Kaido Kaiba? Wanna find his prize? I can't ever answer Pegs and Pekora. That's fine. Joey is a book that man lives near Joey's. I love Joey though, like, like I said, he's a, 
I love supporting the dude. Because he's a cunning bastard. I like it. I must apologize, I've been ingracious. Let me introduce you to my wife, the ocean. Watch up. Be average. I've been ingracious, if you are friends of Yugimoto, please come sit down and eat your fill. I sure you didn't know, perhaps your enemy is the jewel? He's nuts. No, but I am an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. What bait? I the fish, of course. I later outlawed you to be right in, but I don't expect to catch Yugimoto. I made another duel a short time ago, but he's not a worthy opponent. But a test against you, Yugi, would be a true test. Make Osunabi. I accept your challenge. Like Necrophile. <laughs> but Bakor is great too. Bakor is the Yu Gi Oh! Portion. He is really the Yu Gi Oh! Portion idea. Oh, it's my turn. Milk is not. I summon by destroyal golem in attack mode. And one card face down. And I end my turn. Isn't it? I like Merrick. I didn't like Merrick himself. I like Merrick because of Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. Yu Gi Oh! Bridge is what made me like Merrick. Why not switch your stone? I don't know! This is why! This is why! <laughs> yes! Is it, it is continuous. I play Attack the Moon! And one card face down. And I end my turn. Fool! You attacked my giant soldier of stone! Almighty protected the sending sky, I beg of the easy. Oh god damn it. Will this activate twice? Well, it doesn't matter. That pissed me off in the anime though, when uh, you just could attack the moon like that. I sacrifice my giant soldier of stone! So I could summon the summon skull! And he destroyed my summon skull. Well, never mind. I end my turn. What? Not Ireland, turtle. Oh, fuck that shit. I play my Celtic Guardian in attack mode. As well as Swords of Revealing Light. He, he played this card since I summoned a card from a monster in the field. You came on? That's next game. That's next uh, season. Now attack his island turtle, my Celtic Guardian. Try to tribute when he have. Well, to be fair, they only show off like 13 cards, and like, well, we gotta, we gotta make him somewhat doable. Now, time to show you my beaver in the set position. So you can't see my beaver, but you'll see my beaver eventually. And I end my turn. If you wonder why I'm not using this, is I'm trying to save it for another uh, Soldier of Stone. I'm assuming Yugi has another one. So I can kind of use these cards. Or not, never mind. You will never see my beaver. Because I sacrifice it for Course of Dragon. In attack mode. Look at that lobster with an absolute unit. I don't like his face. His face scares me. Course of Dragon, destroy the mad lobster. Now Celtic Guardian, attack his face down. I see, I revealed your giant aqua snake. Absorb. I 
I see I've got you in the defensive. I play Monster Reborn! We already did Exodia, unfortunately. I beat back my summon skull! An attack mode. And next, I activate Hone of the Unicorn! And give it to my Celtic Guardian. So now he's a summoner. A closer to the dragon, attack his face down. Celtic Guardian, attack him directly! You two summon Skull! You've played a good game, Mako! But you stand no chance against my heart of the cards. I draw! Uh, oh, that, I would have liked that sooner. I play one card face down, defense position. Now, close to dragon, attack his face down. Excellent Celtic Guardian. This out vanishing quicker than the student loans. Oh god. Now summon skull! Take out Western Slide points and win this duel! Because... <laughs> what a grand duel! I salute you, my friend! That victory is not easily won, Miku. You're a great duelist yourself. Whew! I love Kaiba. I love Kaiba because he is a douche. No, Kai I love Kaiba because he's a douche. He's the asshole you love. I don't get it. Training Hotshot Duelist is usually as fun as Safar Clearance Sale. Why can't I enjoy it anymore? No, it's not because I'm Noxious Punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur will beat me. I've got to get even the Grinning Gutter Punk. Yep. It's me, Rex Raptor, the Dire Duelist, and now I'm itching to finish that match we started on the boat. Funny, I thought we already knocked you off your Jurassic butt. Think whatever you want, you're about to get stomped. Joey again? Oh no. You think I'm gonna waste another minute with a pea brain like you? Beat it, Dino Breath. Shoot, shoot. Go, pea brain? I happen to have been a finalist in this year's regional championship, and I'll have you know that I've already won five star chips. Whoa, how did you get eight star chips already? A lot of beasts who, like you think they only think by doing a check there's going some easy stars. I've only lost once, but once I find a punk kid Joey, it's payback. Joey, real how could you lose to him? I'd love to see you try. Hmm, <laughs> that gives me an idea. Max, I'll be to duel you, if you something for me first. Sorry. Ah, uh, tell me that's not who I think it is. How are you, Joseph? Glad to see me. No, no, that, that, that's Mong, Mong anime. Mong, Mong shouldn't jump anime. Ecstatic. It's Soap at Night Dragon. So Joey, is Yugi still is Yugi still fighting all your battles for you? Everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you would never beat me. Isn't that right, Yugi? That's not true. Oh really? Now he posts steps out of your shadow here or now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, then see him play for himself. They give the guts to step and face the duels I've arranged for you? I'm Julia on my behalf. Recognize me? That's Vex Raptor. This Troy supposed to scare me or something? I bet you ain't so tough. Don't you remember, Joey? Vex set. Play second in the regionals. Well, Joey, you gonna ask mommy's permission or what? This is a big chance to prove yourself. Are you gonna back out? Don't worry, sis. I'll make you proud. Alright then. It's Dino Feeding Time. Let's duel. Bring it. Hi, Phantom Fox. How you doing? I'm slowly destroying my voice out here. <laughs> I'll make you proud, sis. I'll make you proud, sis. So you can back to Alabama. Thanks so much. Thanks for stopping by. I'll go first.
I treat it time, is it? Hold on, sis, what the f- This is Joey's thing about Your voice might break, and I might lose my voice. Ah, it's so good! And I can't play much else, because I don't waste my time, is it? So I'm gonna end my turn. Ah! I should have played my time, is it? I'm gonna actually narrate, so I narrate this. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Come on! My voice sass. I am losing my voice as the stream goes on. Like, are you serious right now? Ah, <sighs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh no! Let's see you deal with my. Let's see you deal with my Dino. D that's from my GX. I cannot do his Huckaboy Huckaberry's voice. Are you fucking serious, Joey? Are you fucking serious right now? <sighs> Guess I'm putting down time, this would- I end my turn! I mean, I sound like a purist interview, but it's definitely not. Bro, I'm 26, and you see what I- where you hear what I sound like. Wait, why did these effect activate? I thought this effect was to activate. Oh, it's supposed to be face up, damn it. I thought it's a flip effect. Is that better than me? I do not. Alright, try again. Nothing happened. Joey, trust me on this. No, like, I, I like Joey. Because he goes up. What's your favorite archetype? type? I don't know what you mean. I'm very, like, noobish at Yu-Gi-Oh! I've only seen the first two seasons, and I don't know anything past that. Separate deck? Oh, um... It's like I said, I guess Fire... I guess I do good with Fire decks, if anything. Oh my fucking god, okay. I can't do shit again. I cannot do shit again. <sighs> I play Silgen. And now I said my time wizard. My voice is like getting worse as it goes on. Pets! <sighs> you know, I've never been game thing by dinosaurs before. It's a new experience for me. Well, kinda. God, are you serious? <laughs> oh well. Saz, if you remember from uh, Japan loves making dinosaurs into dragons. Final Fantasy VI does it. Pokemon does it. It's just a common thing. I have no idea why you do it. Oh well, yeah, oh well. Name the dragon? Well, type we entered for Pokemon is a dinosaur, but it's dragon type. Type is a dinosaur. And don't forget, the Galarian, the new Galarian Pokemon, um, no names make no sense either. Zapdos is now a Flying fighting type. 
So it's no longer to be called Zapdos. <sighs> okay. I have something at least. I play my Sogin! Charizard is strapped. Actually, Phantom, believe it or not, uh, Charizard was actually never meant to be a dragon. His Japanese name, Lizardon, literally means flying flying salamon, or like flying lizard or something like that. So despite popular belief, he was actually never supposed to be a dragon. Did he change that from flying fighting? Yes, his uh, Galarian version is a flying fighting site. Oh? I mean, it's not like you say oh, it's just a lot of people don't know that. Like a lot of people have the belief of... Wait, what? Okay, cool. I sacrifice your master to play my Leo gun. Like, don't be honest with you, I'm sorry if I sound like an a-hole. I didn't mean to. What the fuck, game fake? He's affecting the himself? Yeah, no, uh... I mean, the typings is not the problem. My problem is the name with the typing. I'm saying this as a big Pokemon fan. Okay, attack. I probably should put down my trap ball. That was demo, demo my position. I know. That's stupid. Should I sacrifice it for my swamp? No, no, I'll be okay. I play my flame in the blade. Why did I place my attack mode? I am stupid. Hey, Kuranaki, how you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Why do you make very thing? No, I agree. Alright. That was telling me to put him in attack mode. Ah, Leo gun! Attack is face down card! I end my turn, Rex. Oh, also, I uh, just one-shot Steven's Mega Metagross. Oh, loved it. You, well, good for you. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. You fell for my trap, Rex. I activate my trap -o. Next, I sacrifice my... Oh, give me, give me a second, Rex. I sacrifice my Flame Manipulator to summon my Swamp Battle God. Uh, Giga Impact only has a 90% accuracy. A Swamp Battle God, attack! Leo Gun, also attack! What are you gonna do now, Rex? It's gonna be the Leaf Forge just grab on. I mean, you're using a Legendary. I can't really, you know. And a very powerful one at that, not like a shitty one, like... Fion. Oh, can you stop having level 5 monsters, Joey? <sighs> Leo God, attack his face down! A Swamp Battle God attacks life points directly. Is hack shit against Jake Dragons? No, they're not. Groudon can learn a lot of rock attacks, and rocks are good against a lot of dragons because dragons also part flying. Plus, ground, Primal Groudon specifically, his attack, his defense is insane. Ground and Fire not good. Ground and Fire not good, but he can also learn other moves. Plus, he has a stupidly high attack stat. Like, Primal Groudon's attack stat is 180. Regular Groudon's Groudon is 150. It's insane. As long as single rock attack. Okay, I'm saying this is still stop his massive attack stat. For those Gen 1 was out there, Primal Groudon's attack stat is more than two Charizards put together. Well, physical, physical wise. Is it the same move I want? Okay. And to be fair, Oris is easy just in general. Like if you want to challenge Pay to go original Ruby Sapphire. Take that, Rex! So I guess you won my star chips! Not only did I win your star chips, I won your red eyes too. Oh, but it's gonna push over that? I play original Ruby Sapphire? Okay.
Time for Bacola. Gotta check something real quick. Let's have a duel right now. Not for Star, just for a little fun. I'm down with that. God, uh, Joey, please. I can't hear your voice anymore. After all the star chips. Oh, Emerald is stupidly easy because of fire. Because the champion just uses water types. After all the star chips, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think this regular old duel sounds like a great idea. Before we get started, this is something I'd like to share with you. Especially with you, Yugi. Bottle. So in Pokemon Emerald, the champion is now Wallace. Who only uses... In Pokemon Emerald, it's Wallace. Steven now kind of takes the role as a kind of like the red type role. If that makes sense. No, it can't be. A Millennium item? Yes, and the magic of a Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Makoa? You have something I bought, and I aim to take it. Wallace is lame. This is your leader and champion. Uh, and Emerald, he just... No, he's just a champion. He gets replaced... And Emerald, the uh, gym leader is... Juan, I think his name is? The stores have been locked away. And now after waiting for count the centuries, the legendary millennium puzzle is mine. No, it can't be. That's that, sir. Bacora. You watch my millennium puzzle? Then you're going to have to duel me for it. But if you win, you'll release my friends and send us all back. You can still fight Steven, it's just he's not a good champion. And it made us team Hyrule. Haha, <laughs> I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi. But I promise you, there's more at stake here than you comprehend. And this is one shadow game that you cannot win. People still down with the voice acting? Emerald's good. Actually, Emerald is definitely the better version. It's just, unfortunately, the Elite Four is easier. Oh, it's always... Oh, why? He has this dumb crap. Oh, my... I played Musaki, the legendary swordsman, in attack mode. Not yet, my turn. Cool, great. <laughs> I play one card face down, defense position. And I end my turn, Bokoa. Hey, it's Dolahan from Castlevania. Well, Dolahan's on like every game. When is this ever gonna help me? When will this card ever help me? I activate Dark Hall. Saws, Swampo is my favorite of the uh, favorite of a Ruby Sapphire trio, so. No, you know who's for bitches? Blaze again. Anyone can win with the Blaze again. There's a reason why he's banned competitively. <clears throat> I hate using swap. I love using swap port. Oh, did I give me a shout out, Felix? I'm sorry. There we go. I play Graceful Charity. Thanks. What's that OP? The most OP, the most OP Pokemon was Blaziken. I think he's technically still the most OP starter. Your chance to smoke gems? Yeah, but he's saying he's not a broken Pokemon. Blaziken is a broken Pokemon. <laughs> You know, I'm going to give you all eyes for some of them videos you do so much. 
Bro, the most po OP Pokemon is Kali Charizard? Yeah. I play another Graceful Charity. Wait, can I not? Wait, what? Oh, I actually had this card to make Graceful Charity. God damn it. I just this card to make Graceful Charity. Fuck. I made mistakes. Uh, I play one card face down, and I end my turn. I feel like Beast with is a better thing than that. I almost gotta look up since I found my headset. Alright, dude. If I end before you, do, before you do, I'll stop by. I play Wasteful Charity again. Which is not good against Foxy and Fiddle Bus. The problem is, is nothing can, is nothing can really resist fire fighting. Because you just think of it of a super effective sense. You have to think of it as well as a resistance sense, and what's good against you sense, as well as the fact you're faster, you're stronger. His also can be a mixed attack. Blaziken is a very, he is the most broken starter. I'll send my Dark Magician and my Kage Musha to Graveyard. I chance Blaze against Skepsire? I'm sure you did against the AI. But this doesn't mean the fact that you can also beat Swampart with your Blaze again. It can also beat a Skeptire with your Swampart. Like, it's just, you can't really judge it based on that. I think Soul Charge! I bring back my Dark Magician. Attack position. Ow! That's it. It's polymerization. So my flame swordsman. Okay, I guess Fame Source makes an animation as well. And I end my turn. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you giant motherfucker. Except I being. I don't talk about him being part dragon though. Bullshit. Ah, uh, he deserves it. I I deserve Skeptile being part dragon. Also, I lost this duel. So we're gonna try again. Damn it! I guess we're going to Shadow Realm. I'm fine with it. Cause don't forget, Grass Dragon looks drag moves. I'm fine with it though. And if you're upset about him being broken or anything, he's Dragon Grass is not a good typing. So that's fine. You want know Skeptile needs something. I think the Gen Five starters need more, but Skeptile needs something. I, fortunately, I think the Gen 5 starters are the weakest starters, which sucks. Because you know how I am about Gen 5. I summon Musashi. And my face. My turn. My turn in phase. Hold on, I got... Dumb... BS stuff. If I was just talking I love Snivy though. Like Snivy's awesome, 
And I guess technically he is the best one of the Gen 5 starters because of the whole contrary thing. Because I love Gen 5, it's my favorite generation. Am I actually Snippy? The Snippy's the best one! I can't do anything here! Damn it, Bokora! I place one card face down defense position. And I end my turn. Damn, she's one of the most badass. Competitively and like, design wise, Snippy is the best. Because the whole thing with Snippy is, do you know the, do you know the move Leaf Storm? I heard of it. So Snippy's ability, contrary, is a hidden ability, but you probably well, can still get it pretty easily. Means that secondary ability, secondary status things are reversed. So, a move like Leaf Storm, so it looks like Overheat. But it looks like Overheat. is every time you use it, your special attack is halved. But having an ability contrary with Leaf Storm means every time you use Leaf Storm, your special attack is doubled. So, you can literally be there spamming Leaf Storm, and you'll be an unstoppable killing machine. And Snippy's really fast as well. A good of happy level. I can only say Dark Magicians. Damn it! I activate Lightning Vortex! I, I know you meant Superior, don't worry. Shit like Wingo. No, not Wingo. We just spam Leaf Storm. Your special attack doubles. Wingo is not a good move. Aha! Now I bring back my graceful charity. Never got Leaf Storm? That's fine. They go for 65. Um, it might be a bleeding move. I could be wrong. Next, I activate another graceful charity. Oh, 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 you are fucked. Now, I activate Monster Reborn. I, to, I like Elving Gen 5 because, I don't know, I think it's varied enough. An attack mode. Dark Magician. And now I activate Monster Reborn! And summon another Dark Magician! Cause fuck you! Shit like Volcarina High Dragon. But Volcarina... Alright, I'm okay with it though. SPS? I don't think it's BS. I think it's fine. Next, I activate Swords of Revealing Light, cause I'm a dick. Don't forget, Dragonite has been level 55 for like the longest time. And you had less XP options back then. Yeah, I know Pokemon. Well, you... Me, I have all people, no Pokemon. You, you have to explain it to me. Next is summon Skullstalker. Living weight starts to slow? Yeah, it's supposed to. Because Pokemon is a good Pokemon. And I'm good. Oh, you motherfucker. Looks like I attacked my skull stalker. I do. 
Okay. He's on my sister since you gave your eye. That's fine. Now, I summon Rio Toko! Cool, you cook honey bastard. I know you face down Mr. Masters, a lot of defense. So dark rid of shit. Dark magic attack. Beauto go also attack. You you horrify me. Well then, don't don't worry about Drew. You took us on my motherfucker. He is a dark magician, dark magic attack again. Also, why did they give Yugi these cards? These cards fucking suck. Not once have I ever seen him use these cards. Not once. Like the magician, like the well, well the magician card. I get it. Same swordsman. I get it because. The context of the anime. I play one card face down. Actually, I, I yeah, shot face down. Dark magician, dark magic attack. Mio Toko finishes life. Yeah, I'm evil now. Deal with it. Are you okay, Bakora? I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping in Mojin Resort when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring to my father said it's something to do with dual monsters, but it never made any sense since the card game was new. The ring is clearly ancient. My father got back. He gave it to me. He said he felt I was destined to have it. Is Beckham McCor ever do anything? Does Vegla McCor ever do anything? I dreamt of McCor with totally mental. Same here. Last I snooze with dueling cards with under your pillow. Deep fell guys? Ah, McCor, don't hurt me. I can pull a system up for Yami McCor. But I'm saying Vegla McCor doesn't do shit. Because he's still under control for Yami McCor. For the rest of the season. <laughs> I don't even know if he technically ever free Bakora technically. I'm just gonna assume we kill him. I, yes, I have seen last season, my devil. I'm just gonna assume Mega Bakora is dead. That's not like my. Bye bye, boys. My harpies, they're gone. Oh, you should be happy about that. No, not those. I think you just mean me eliminated, just like you. Now hand over all your star chips, you loser. My, are you okay? The sideshow freak giving you a hard time. That's right. Just like Pegasus pays me to do. With all the dueling filth on this island, spills of it. Doesn't that make you a garbage man? This is no joke. Panics when the island's eliminators. If you do get out of here, he's gonna do to what you did to me. Check out Hudula's Club. Not a starship left. You're out of the tournament, my? I am. It all happened so fast. They put in the duels. I just lost it. Ha! Huh. She was one of my easiest victims yet. You creep. There's no excuse for pushing a guard. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my life. And I'm afraid there's only one way to deal with them. You'll stand out to them. Like Joey and Tristan. They were bullies. Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero? They were huge bullies. Let's see you try your intimidation tactics against me, Panic. I don't scare easy, especially when I'm standing up for my friends. Yu-Gi, huh? Must be a lucky day. Pegasus has promised a generous bounty to the Lemino who defeats you. Think you throw in some extra cash with this bodily harm? Ha ha ha. I rage with all the starships I have to win mines. It's a deal. If you win, I'll give you all eight of the starships because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? Why me, little Yugi, is that when you win, do it against Panic, you're putting much more than just immediately starships on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I do believe you're beginning to panic. Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? The last time I saw, had to know to talk to me like that, I broke them in half. Last duel. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need a specific song for this. We need a very specific song for this.
a story deck. That song? So the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime actually had a specific song when he was facing panic. We have to. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we have to. <laughs> we have to use this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to use this song. <laughs> Oh, I love cheesy old anime songs. What the hell is this pop? In a Yu Gi Oh anime, when Yu Gi fought Panic, this is a song he was playing. This is a song he was playing in the background. It's on loop too, so don't worry. <laughs> that this gonna I promise you The English dub and anime they played this. I promise you they did. Uh since I watch it. Sure. I'll set, I'll set him down. My other favorite thing is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm sorry. Back then, McDonald's had a soundtrack he was selling for Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu Not a soundtrack. It was like a Happy Smeal thing. Any Happy Meal, it would have a soundtrack of, uh... The soundtrack of Yu-Gi-Oh's, like, English songs, whatever you want to call it. And I love it. I love how dumb and cheesy it is. Is it death metal? I loved it. I loved it. I, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop it. But no, it was amazing. Like, amazing with how cheesy it was. I sacrifice! My mystical elf from my coastal dragon. Actually, I think that's too important now. Next act, it's Boning Land. Each of us will take 500 light points per turn. This is why if you shake this your game, uses a bit more. Why if you shake the game, uses a bit more. It is. It really is. But it's Konami. I mean, you know what fucking Konami does nowadays. Catapult total. You should be in defense mode. Now, Course of Dragon. Attack. Oh, his ability. Attack this dummy monster. Send it to the graveyard. And I end my turn, panic. I will use the other English ones. I'm thinking we should appropriate times in the story or fights, you know what I mean. You're just a bully panic hiding behind your yellow Lester shield.
Face me like a man. And play a children's card game. I end my turn. I draw! I activate polymerization! I fuse my closer dragon and Gaia the Fierce Knight to summon Gaia the Dragon Champion! Oh, oh, once I select them. Go, oh, Gaia, the Dragon Champion! We aren't done now. Next, I activate my Monster Reborn! And I play Gaia, the Fierce Knight. It's really hard to get that music. Is it really the hard to get music animate for your IP economy? Well, actually, technically, Yu-Gi-Oh is a um is a Shonen Jump IP. The card game itself is a Konami. It's it's weird. Next, I activate Horn of the Unicorn and equip it to my Gaia, the Fierce Knight. The reason I did to Gaia is because uh, just in case like one of them die, I said something else is strong and I can take him on. So yeah, this is a weird thing. Like the manga and anime are shonen jumps property, but then the card game is Konami's property. It's you know, it, it's weird. I see you still hiding behind your shadows, Spanik. That's all I talk about in a show is how cowardly you are. Next, I summon my Horned Imp! They can't walk something out and find both companies. I'm sure they could, but you know how Konami is. Like, I'm sure Shorty Jump be like, yeah, go ahead and use the music. Except, even though I think that's specifically the English dub of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! That the music belongs to, but still. Next, Gaia the Fierce Knight, attack him directly! <gasps> Dragon Zombie! But I'm sure if Konami tried, they'd be like, yeah, go ahead and use music. But it's Konami. They don't try anymore. Gaia, the Dragon Champion, attacks his Dragon Zombie. Now Gaia, the Fierce Knight, attacks his life points directly and win back my Star Chips. Nobody beats Panic. Nobody. Yugi, you're incredible. Your Millennium Puzzle has more power than we thought. Yugi, I don't know what to say. Yo, these Star Chips are yours. Take them. I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. Bye! You give us his life and his tool for you! I know, but... There's no point in arguing. She's too way too thick-headed. But if she'd rather be a booted off the island, I'll take them. Think me losing all my star chips is funny, Joey Velo? I thought you didn't want them, Mai. Give them back. Of course you can have them. They're yours. Really, Joey? Then you own anything on the stool? You can't always keep your defenses up because they're just getting... Between you and the other people who are trying to be your friends. Can't you let your shield down just as once? Are you ready for bones? A dream? Phew. Kaiba will see who eats the dog chow on this island. Everybody wake up! What's wrong? Sure, it's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It's a brand new day in the tournament, and I'm hard to find us a new duel. I'm a team that was sticking our lives out there for you. Yeah? Well, you don't have to yell about it. Hey guys, what's all the commotion? Good morning, Taya. Where's Mai? Isn't she with you? We said she had to go. It's giving us note, Yuki. 
Well, you can kiss those starships goodbye. I don't know. Maybe we can trust my. And if not, we're still the team supreme, right? Right. Okay then, move out. I wonder how many jewelers are left on this island. They shipped a couple dozen home yesterday. And I bet even more have been eliminated by now. Some more of them were really good players with powerful cards. We could be next. That's not Joey's brain thinking about Mai. Nah. Listen, it's creepy enough, okay? Mai's in her 20s. Joey's like 16. And they try hard to establish this relationship, though. Not a chance, you. Those other guys who want to win the prize. You and Joey have a lot more at stake. What? Joey's 16. Mai is in like a mid to late 20s. That's true. I gotta rescue Grandpa from Pegasus, and Joey needs to find money to help his sister. The duelist we face today may, will even be stronger because he survived the first round. Even stronger? Careful what you say, Yugi. You've got little Joey here shaking in his sneakers. Can he be early 20s? <laughs> what? You think I'm scared, little puppy dog? Well, if the collar fits. Oh, wait, break it up. You just bring on any duelist, and I'll cream him. Ew. Wait, you gotta believe in yourself, Joey. We found two. We found two. Du I can't do a kid's voice. We found two duelists. What is this stupid kid? But the other's a good duelist. His name is Yugi. He's the kid to beat Kaiba. Everyone fears him to make it all the way to Texas Castle. Yugi, huh? I've heard of him. He's supposed to be tough for this court. That is to believe in his reputation. We don't do that in America. Yeah, I've never seen him duel. How do you know how good Yugi really is? Nobody's going to cast with us. I said him the most brilliant duelist on this whole banner. <laughs> That's right. So if you win in this tournament, you have to live in America. You hear me, Pegasus? America's coming for you. This is payback for what you did to America. And it pretty much pay. <laughs> it all came down to you and me. I had you right where I wanted you. I was sure I was about to win, but then you tripped us Americans. Oh god, they're going to be this thing. I don't need help. A child could defeat you, Benicky, and I'm going to prove it. Just follow these instructions and you win. I didn't know what to make of it. He's not American. But you snot nosed brat, there's no way you could have known I was gonna play that card. Give me that. Darheel, but I can't read it because it's not American. Hey, yeah, okay. My, my voice is dying, please. We're done, my voice is dead. Bandit Keith, yeah, okay. Do you think Bandit Keith. I was about to get photo, man. Do you think Bandit Keith and Funny Valentine would get along? I think they'd get along. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think it's a charity. I'm, I'm going to voice acting a little break for now. I think it's Flame in the Blade Oil and... Maybe Dragon. Funny Valentine and Vinicky would, would really get along. So letting you know, since tomorrow's Tuesday, I will do uh, more tutorial tomorrow. Yeah, as, he said, as he just said though, uh, I'll do more tutorial tomorrow since tomorrow's Tuesday. Um, once it's midnight though, I have to do the Pokemon expansion. You can hit more cacti? Exactly. It's just not right if I'm not hit by cacti, you know? Why don't you use other why don't you use these decks? I feel like it'd be too easy to use a user deck, so I'm gonna use the main story deck to kinda challenge myself.
Because I didn't play this one, but I played the older version of this. God damn it. I'll save them since I'll get a harmonization. Yeah, my name duels. I think the other one's just called Lexi the Duelist. Like, it just didn't have like, any title after it. Tycho axe. Can I get a palm station, please? Please, please, pretty, pretty, please. All right, I'm gonna hit you with my. I'm gonna hit you with uh, my Tycho axe. All right. I can't wait to get later in the series when these fights will probably go a lot faster. And people, they don't have cards, 700 attack points. Fuck yeah! What? No! Come on! Please! Fuck you! You dick! I wanted to summon the Red Eyes Black Dragon but because your stupid card I probably should destroy my Dust Tornado. I can't do that. Be a fight before boss tomorrow? Maybe. As long as you do it before midnight. Because once it's midnight, Pokemon Expansion. I'm sorry if people won't like it or will like it. I just, I have to. I'm, I'm the Pokemon dude. Maybe. That probably won't happen. We'll find out. Also, this was an easy fucking fight. Wow. Got the six lens to the Demon Auto. Nope. Messing my voice. I think we're fighting a Paradox Brothers next. So we're just going to skip the Paradox Brothers just entirely. We're just skipping them entirely, I guess. Wow, hold on. You don't even get to face off against Pekora. There's no final Pekora fight. Cause that starts. Wait, is that Crowlow? Is that Crowlow? Oh no, it's that dude from the Terry Calcus thing. Look! Cause you, it ends with... It starts and it goes straight to the Yugi Yami fight. God damn it, Konami, come on. Really? You even get to fight fucking Merrick's sex slave. Alright. Oh, you mean Odia? Merrick's other sex slave. You're not human. Great human, actually. This extraordinary gifted. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Wait, why are you doing this? Who? Uh, who? The the f f mute mime dude. The mute mime dude, of, like who Yugi beat to obtain Slice of the Sky Dragon. My reasons are none your concern. Maybe I just enjoy the struggle watching this constant tug of war between you and Yugi boy, or maybe it wants to be. You're incapable of comprehending. Talk strings. What do you want? Strings. 
That sounds like a sex slave name to me, so... What? I want to see if you're capable of defeating Little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him and humiliate defeats, you get the opportunity to duel me. Then if you beat me, I promise to store your brother's soul. But now I have no choice but to play your game. But as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you better be good at your promise. To restore my body, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating the soul from your body in my own way. You can I have a thrust for the... Yeah. Finally, after I wake up, yep. My TV just turned off. My TV is like, now nah, we're sick, I'm sick of this shit. My TV itself is like, now nah, we're done. I'm fine, fine TV. You happy? My TV's done with this abuse. Oh, oh! That makes sense! That makes sense! Even though Yugi- Even though Kaiba kinda won by cheating in this fight. Let's be honest, I mean, we all know it, Kaiba 100% cheated in this fight. But then again, Yugi cheated against fake Kaiba, so... Maybe that makes it even? I mean, he got on the edge. Literally. Oh. I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing, fake Kaiba. Uh, they stole some fat dude stole Kaiba's deck. Like, and he was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm Kaiba." It's like, "No, you're not. You're not my. You're not Kaiba." And Kaiba like had to hack the dual system thing. It's it's you know. You did save his battle? He still cheated! But like I said, Yugi also kind of cheated in the fake Kaiba fight, so... No, it won't. The end justifies the means, but... It's still cheating. I can remember the yeah, ball illusions. I was feeling dying if you lost. Yeah! I 100% see what we're doing. I 100% see what we're doing. And I hope we get polymerization now. Without taking into account you give a save Mokuba. I mean, it's Pegasus who knew what he would have done. He's kind of unpredictable. Don't forget, I mean, don't forget though, Season 1 Pegasus? Complete asshole. Then from then on, for no reason, he's like, oh, I'm your best friend. I'm gonna consistently help you out. Like, wait, what? Like, what? Didn't you try to kill me and all my friends and stole several of our souls? It's like, yeah, but we're best friends now. But then again, last I? Okay, that doesn't excuse the fact that you just killed me, trying to kill me and all my friends. I have some icon from like doing that before? I don't think so though. It really doesn't seem like that, otherwise I think they would have brought it up. I, I, I get it, it's still a vibe said like girlfriend, whatever. He still tried to kill you and all your friends. And took your grandfather's soul. And 
and took Kaiba and Mokuba's soul. And then he was torturing Mokuba. Like, there's no forgiveness there. I mean, when he's evil when he's with the eye. But no, but there's no proof of that. So, so far from what we've seen, he's just evil. He's an evil ass, so I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll. The influence of the ring makes sense. But the whole point is the ring, the ring being evil is another spirit. When Merrick was evil, he wasn't, remember, most of the time, it wasn't a wand afflicting him until like near the end of a duelist tournament, well, not what it was called, Battle City Tournament. Ishizu was not affected, was not influenced. I don't think the influence thing has anything to do with it. I don't think it's influenced at all. Not all spirits are malicious. But you don't have spirits! Yomi Yugi and Bakor are the only evil spirits. The whole evil Merrick thing was just a personality shift. It was like, oh, it's my evil personality. I'm sorry, there's no excuse. Like, look, at, look what happened to Vegeta. No one trusted Vegeta. He joined a good team, but it's because no one could kill him. But at the same time, by consistently saving the Earth, even though someone was fault, he finally earned their respect. He finally, okay, we welcome you because you end up doing more good than harm. We still don't forgive you really for the harm, but you've done more good than harm. Pegasus didn't do anything. Most like, oh, here's a card you can use. Thanks. You rich, can't we use like one of your vehicles? Can you give us information about the Egyptian god cards? I'm theorizing this. I, I know you're theorizing it, and I, I know I'm not attacking you or anything like that. But it's it's a huge plot hole. Not the plot hole. I mean, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. No shit, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. But I'm just saying. This is not a real plot in the card game. It's ah, uh, it's ah. Uh. I'm really trying, hoping for polymerization because I want to summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Like, I'm, like, you've seen- Oh, fuck off! If you want to smell axe, you just be with eyes, like, yummy Bakora with the other side. It's like, yummy Except he wasn't possessed. He wasn't possessed. That's what I'm trying to say. Pegasus was by no means possessed. Also, in the manga, he made Bandit Keith shoot himself. But no one remembers that part! But then again, Banner Keith had it coming, so I'm, I'll give, I'll give that. Let's not forget, in the manga, Pegasus made Banner Keith shoot himself. No, it would be unreasonable to say the is sentient, but I'm pretty sure this show would explain that the is sentient. And remember, there's only two maybe sentient. The only two items was like sentience. Yeah, before you say Millennium Mod, they explained it was in the mod. It was Merrick's like abuse and his being him being trapped in the underground tomb for like so long. Fine, I'll just summon it. Fucking a. I'm going to- 
I know, I know it's Yu-Gi-Oh. I should not be upset about Yu-Gi-Oh plot. I'll fuck it old as Merrick. Merrick is relatively young. I want to say maybe he's like Yugi's age. Like this whole thing is like he was abused as a kid because his fa like his father was super abusive. Merrick? No, he's not. By no means. The whole point of Merrick is like they're supposed to wait for the Pharaoh to come back. It's just like a family succession thing. Holy shit, what is going on here? I mean, no, Farrakh himself is not old. And even Eric Vermeerick is not old, it's like his multiple, it's like multiple personality thing. And it's not another soul or anything like that. It really is the most of personality. It's schizophrenic. Essentially, but it's from years of abuse caused by his father and also being trapped years inside the tomb. But it's not an evil spirit. Like they explain it in the show, it is not an evil spirit. I can't remember the anime for years and years and years. It's just cheesy. Especially if you're saying it, it's just cheesy. Why didn't me like Yami call Yami your name? Yami just means dark, so laziness. I'm assuming it's just laziness, because I guess we can't bother giving them a name. Ah, shit. Stop asking me! I am hoping for a conversation. And for people who want to say that Yami Yugi is not evil, a oh, fuck yeah! Watch season zero. Watch season zero. <laughs> Yami Yugi is an evil asshole. Yami Yugi. In season zero, Yami Yugi set a dude on file. Let me just say that. In season zero, yes. He is evil as fuck. Fuck yeah, though, I got it. I, I wouldn't go that far as Oz, but. Uh, that is a little. Uh. Mirror Force. Benny Port. If he has Mirror Force, I'm going to be immensely pissed. Save his friend. No, you are white. Right. It was to save his friend. It was to save Taya. He didn't have to light a dude in fire, though. No mirror force? Yes. Whew. So. That'll be it for Yu-Gi-Oh for now. Let's see what else I can do. Well, that's probably gonna be it for the stream for tonight. I do have to go to bed, so. If I go to bed. I'll have to go to bed, but I just still pack tomorrow, and so I'm gonna be waking up only. Plus, tomorrow we're gonna be doing Terrier and Pokemon. I'm not running away. I'm not running away. Uh.
Oh, cool. I got him a good time. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. I'll be on tomorrow with Terraria and Pokemon.